All right, how you doing? My name is Dave Johnson with Grill Beast. You know, one of the big questions we get is how can you use a regular kettle grill as a smoker? And the way you do that, you have to be able to control the burn of your charcoal. And one of the best ways to do it is to use what's called the snake method. And to do the snake method, you need to remove your, your grill grate. You want to use a natural briquette. It's easier to do. Um, and you just kind of like just dump a bunch in there. But then what you have to do, you need to stack it up in a nice, neat row. Now this row, uh, it's actually going to be multiple rows and multiple layers. Depending on how long you want to burn will determine on how big and how high this goes. But typically, if you want to, you want to always burn around 225. Um, if it's a beef or pork and if you want to go about five six hours you're going to go two rows across and at least three rows up and once you get your meat in there and it starts burning uh, you'll see if it's holding the right temperature or not and if it's not you just pull it out and add another row real quick and it'll pick up that temperature to where you need it to be but if you practice this a couple times in your grill you'll know exactly what you need to do. So what's also gonna determine how it burns is the outside temperature. You know, naturally, if it's cold outside, you're gonna need uh, more rows of charcoal. And that's across and up. So you just keep stacking it up. And what you also wanna do is add your flavor wood in there. So, and you wanna have most of that at the beginning of the burn, okay? Because after your meat gets to 160 degrees, it's not gonna take on any more smoke taste so you need to make sure you get that smoke flavor in early on okay and you just keep stacking your charcoal now you could try to use a lump style charcoal but I personally don't do it that way it doesn't work as efficient uh, this way you can control everything which that's really kind of what barbecue is all about too is controlling your fire so at first it looks a little disorganized but after you get everything stacked in there you'll see how it all works. So for this, we're just gonna go halfway around. I've done this many times, so I know pretty much exactly how much I need to get the certain temperature I need and for how long. And the good thing is, is if you have too much, once you get done with your burn, you can cut it off and you can save all the rest of your charcoal. So, and then after that, you just wanna light like three or four charcoals. You don't wanna light a whole chimney worth. So what we'll do, let's get rid of some of these. The ones up here we want to burn in your chimney. You can see mine's nice and used. You have a deep side and a shallow side. So for this, you just want to use the shallow side. Now, whenever you use newspaper to light charcoal, you have your regular paper part of the newspaper, but then you also have these advertisements and they have a lot of wax and ink in them. You don't want to use those. Okay, so that is not good for burning or not good for lighting fire for your cooking. You want to use the regular ink now it can have some color in it, that's fine, but make sure it's the regular paper. So let's take put that in there. You shouldn't take, you don't ever want to use lighter fluid. You don't want to use the match light stuff. You want to use the all natural charcoal. Like I use stubs a lot, Royal Oak has it. And there's a couple other ones you can find out there that's a briquette that's all natural. But you just need to make sure it doesn't have any chemicals in it. So and after that, you just Paper. Okay, so once you get your charcoal lit, you just need a pair of tongs or something and just take each one of them out, put them right at the beginning of your stack, and it will continue to burn. It will start catching the rest of your stack and it will burn slow. And just like that, put your grate back on. Okay, you put your grate on, and what you want to do when you put your meat on is you want to keep, try to do um, an offset so you're not directly over top the fire. Um, but if you end up being a little bit on the fire, it's not going to hurt it because you're still burning a slow burn. I shut my damper on the bottom all the way off, put the lid on, and for 225 or something, you only need just a little bit, not even enough to get the head of your pinky of your finger through. Um, and then you just watch the temperature, adjust it, 
And as long as you can get up to temperature, you're good to go. And if not, you either open your damper up a little bit or you take it off and add another stack. Um, but after you do it once or twice, you'll know exactly how your stack is gonna be for the type of weather, weather and, uh, and the type of grill you have. This doesn't go just for kettle grills. Any kind of a regular grill you can smoke out of. You just wanna do an indirect type cooking and uh, set up a snake method to, that works for your type of grill. We are gonna be doing a ton of videos and recipes, the Grill Beast way of grilling, smoking meat. Hit subscribe so you can be notified whenever that happens. Hit like if you liked it, make a comment, ask a question below. Again, my name is Dave Johnson, The Grill Beast. Thanks a lot. That's pretty much it. I already got my smoker going. It's a barrel smoker. I've been using it a lot lately. This thing is like about set it and forget it as you can get. I'm starting to fall in love with it.